Welcome to Of Men, For Men. Here we'll discuss issues pertaining to the modern day man. Subjects like health, wealth, lifestyle, gear, and relationships. So join me as we dive into the world of men for men. Hello and welcome to the Of Men for Men podcast. I am your host, James Rodney Lemax. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Come on in. Kick back. Relax. Grab yourself a go. Yeah. The crazy world we live in, huh? Man, I'm telling you what, the idiots are running the asylum. Crazy people in charge of everything. I don't know what's wrong with them. <laughs> Lord have mercy on us all. All right, let's get down to it. <clears throat> But we don't have anybody really to blame but ourselves, right? So blame yourself. You're like, what? What in the hell are you talking about? (laughs) Uh, It's our fault. What I mean is, it's our responsibility. We need to take responsibility for what goes on in our lives. I'm not talking about the bigger picture. I'm going to narrow this thing down. We're talking about us, men. Right? Blame yourself. You have to own up to your own stuff, right? I know we've all been in uh, bad relationships or failed relationships. But who are you going to blame? The other person? Oh, yeah, you know, they, they were this and they were that. You know, whatever. Man, you know, I, 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 have, I don't know if you have, but, you know, whenever you, you know, get with a, a new female and then they start talking about their past and it's always the guy's fault, right? <laughs> they don't never own up to none of theirs, right? Oh, well, I could have, should have, would have. I, like you, have had some failed relationships in the past. Long-term relationships. Marriage. And you know who I blame for that? I blame me. I blame myself. I'm the one that put myself in that position. I did it. You can't control other people. They're going to do what they what they want to do what they're going to do anyway doesn't matter you can't control what other people do that's why I tell you again and again you got to vet these females you got to vet them know who they are know know about their past know about their family tree (laughs) You know, what kind of stock do they come from, right? Like they say, the apple don't fall too far from the tree, right? Now, there's there's always some bad apples in the bunch, right? (laughs) But if you do your homework, you can at least reduce the risk, right? And then if something happens out of the blue... You know, at least, you know, you've done your part. Right? Stuff happens to us all the time. You have, you know, bad things happen at work. I mean, you can't go in there and have an argument, you know, with your boss or something. 
and then he lays you off or fires you or something and then get mad at him because you got fired <laughs> you know whose fault is that right you know cause and effect what did you do what was your part it happens all the time now I'm not saying there's not bad things that happen to good people that stuff happens all the time there are things that are outside of your control like I mentioned before females definitely going to do what they want to do when they want to do it you know regard sometimes regardless if you're doing everything right you know if you're doing everything right you can still get left holding the bag But how are you going to react to that? That's on you. You can react negatively. And maybe turn a bad situation worse. Or you can handle, handle it positively. As a man. As a mature male. Dig in. Do what you need to do. And try to turn that into a positive for you. You have to take responsibility. You have to own up. You know, blame yourself. Don't beat yourself up. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not talking about that at all. That's 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 not that's not beneficial. But yeah, you have to blame yourself for your part. Okay, yeah, right. I did. I shoulda. I woulda. I coulda. You know, take take responsibility for the things. You know. But we do know that there are things that happen outside of your control. You know, bad things happen to good people. But how you react to that is going to be, you know, your, you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda. And you don't want to have a bad reaction and cause it to be worse. <clears throat> and then get mad. Because you ex expounded on it. You have to take responsibility for what you do. You know, society isn't keeping you down. In politics, they want you to think certain groups of people are being held down. No, they're not. Nobody's being held down. Everybody has opportunity. Some more than others. I'm not going to say that some does, don't have more opportunity. But everybody has opportunity. The cream always rises to the top. Regardless. And if you take responsibility for yourself... then you can make some things happen. You can get something done. That's what's wrong with people. Nobody wants to take responsibility anymore. It's always somebody else's fault. Patriarchy. Females are being held down by the patriarchy. Shit. They got more rights than you do. <laughs> you know, go to court. See what happens. Have her lay down a false accusation against you. See what happens. See what happens there. That's why I say you always have to be careful. When you're dealing with females. Be very careful. You know. What's that movie? The, uh, the Hunger Games. You know. May the odds. Be forever in your favor <laughs> they in her favor they ain't in your favor <laughs> you know you, you go you go to divorce court or you know uh, child custody or child support it's, it, it's all in her favor you are screwed from the get go just so you know that's why I say you, you want to have kids better think about that better think about bringing the child into this world and what, and what that's going to entail 
that should should that marriage go south, you're screwed. You're screwed. You're going to get drugged through the mud. And you're going to pay. And that judge does not care. He don't care whether you got a roof over your head or whether you're sleeping out in a ditch somewhere. He don't care. As long as you pay. You pay. It's sad, but it's true. That's why I say you blame yourself. <laughs> you know, because you brought it on yourself, right? You know, I made a lot of mistakes, lots of mistakes. And at first you get upset and blame the other person. And then, then, then you come to realize, you know what? No, that was my fault. That was my dumbass. I was the one that was stupid. That person is just being who they are. I made the mistake. Right? <laughs> you know, I thought things were different. I made the mistake of trusting somebody. I made the mistake of, you know, thinking when somebody said that they loved you, that they actually did love you. Because words and actions are two different things. That's responsibility, what somebody says and what they do. What they say and what they do. People will tell you all kind of shit. I promise you all kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be there. I'm going to do this. I got you. You know, whatever it may be. And they ain't got shit. They ain't got nothing. They they looking out for themselves. <clears throat> And as soon as they're done with you and your resources, your time, your attention, your energy, your money, with your team, you know, time, energy, attention, money, <coughs> as soon as they're done with your team, they're going to move on to the next team. They're going to monkey branch. And then who you got to blame? Right? You got to be very careful. I mean, the statistics tell the story. You know, the, the vast majority of young people today are not getting married. Their birth rate is going down. <clears throat> you know. <coughs> quicker than a two dollar and I can't say it <laughs> I'm not going to say it you know what I'm talking about <laughs> uh, it's terrible but again nobody has any responsibility if these females had to had to really pay for their actions they wouldn't do half the stuff they do because you know they they you know there's no repercussion for them and the problem is, is you don't have any recourse but, you know the majority of the time you don't have any recourse any way to to recoup anything your time your energy your attention or your money it's all gone Take care of your team. You the head coach. You the one making all the decisions. <laughs> right? Do what's best for the team. Your team. Your time. Your energy. Your attention. Your money. <laughs> Do what's best for your team. Because if you don't. And you get taken down the river, who are you going to blame? Blame yourself. Take responsibility for it. It's difficult, gentlemen, out there today. 
It's hard. I understand. I know. You know, even older people ain't turning around, running around, you know, getting remarried. Because the divorce rate, every time every time you get mar- remarried, the divorce rate the climbs 10%. <laughs> you know, first marriage is, <clears throat> I don't know, 50, 60%. Second marriage, 70%. Third marriage, 80%. Look at these people that have been married four or five times. They can't, especially these females, they can't They can't keep a husband. There's a reason for that. <laughs> There's a reason for that. And these are movie stars. And some of these, these, these men, these multi-millionaires. But they're not making good choices with females. And number one, if you get that kind of money and you're a man, you shouldn't be getting married. No how. In my opinion, you got no business getting married. You got you, you got too much team. <laughs> you got too much time, too much energy, too much attention, and too much money that you need to devote somewhere else than to try to devote it on a female that's going to wind up a few years down the road. She can stick around long enough till she can get her a good healthy sum, and then she's going to leave you and, and try to take half all your shit. It ain't worth it. And for what? For what? And when that happens, he ain't got nobody to blame but himself, but yourself. Don't let that happen to you. You have to be careful. That's why I say, you know, I don't, I don't really, I'm, you know, I, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, say marriage is out of the question or long-term relationships out of the question, you know, but you know, don't, don't be, again, you got to vet this person, you got to know, yeah, and this, you and this other person have to have a whole hell of a lot in common, a whole hell of a lot. And I would say this person almost has to love you more than you love them. (laughs) That's terrible too, right? But somebody that, you know, you you know, that you just, you know that you know, you know. You know, you know. (laughs) Yeah, that, 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 you know, that, uh, you know, they see you as the end all, the be all, end all, you know, that type of thing. It's just sad that it's really come down to this because because of you know feminism and the courts and the judges and lawyers they've destroyed the marriage. It's, it was you know it, it was a great thing, wonderful thing, benefited the man and the woman, raising children. Children should be raised in a two-parent home, absolutely. You know. But to, in today's society, mm-mm. very difficult, very difficult, very difficult, gentlemen. Odds are it's going to be a bust. Then who are you going to blame? Blame yourself. Don't beat yourself up again. <laughs> Got to let it go. You know, but you have to take responsibility for it, you know, big or small, whatever your role was, you know, again, some things happen that you've out of your control, but it takes two to tango. So you had, you had something to do with it and you have to accept your part. No, you know, accept what that was big or small. And just face it. Say, okay, I learned my lesson. I'm not going to let that happen again. And move on from it. Crazy world. I don't see it getting any better. You know, until the courts change. You know, until this world swings, swings back, you know, 
basically 180 degrees from where they're headed. It's just going to get worse from here on out. You know, like I said, you got the, you know, you got Gen Xers like me. You know, a lot, a lot have been, you know, married and divorced. Some remarried. Some married, you know, 20, 30 years. Amen. You know, God bless them. You know, I wish I'd have had something like that, but I made poor choices in females. I didn't vet them good enough. That's who's that fault? Mine. My fault. Right? I should have chose better. I should have made better choices. But that's okay. I learned my lesson. Right? And I'm I came out the other end and I'm I'm better for it. It's a tough road to hoe, but I made it. I made it out. <laughs> but I don't want I don't want to see some of you guys doing that same thing. You know, you got your what your Gen Z's. You know, a lot of them ain't getting married, the millennials, you know, I, I don't think most of them are of, or maybe some of the older ones are just coming into, you know, that marrying age. So I don't think we have enough information on them to find out, you know, what's happening with them yet, how they doing. But I don't see it being any better for them. Not the way, not the way this world's going, not at the rate we're going. But that's about all I got, gentlemen. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> And it's not. It's not bad news. It's wisdom. You just got to know your role, right? <laughs> you know? You know? know? Know what your part is. Accept it. Acknowledge it. Take responsibility for it. You know? And if you screwed up, okay, I screwed up. All right? Lesson learned and move on. And let it go. Just take it from there. All right, my friends. I appreciate you. Appreciate you listening. Give me, giving me your time. Check out the social media sites: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Gab, Locals, Parlor. If you'd like to support the webcast, you can do so on the support button on the app that you're using right now. I have been James Rodney Lee Max, and you have been great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This will be a weekly podcast. You can find it on the Anchor app. And anywhere podcasts are available. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. I look forward to seeing you there.